Hey, what's happening, tubers? It's your boy here, the flea market junkie, and today is the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, I had a great Thanksgiving, man. I hope you guys did too. We had uh, lots of great food, and uh, it uh, was really nice. I uh, actually went, spent time with my family in the afternoon, then the evening went and spent time with my wife's family, and uh, it was really nice. So, um, so happy Thanksgiving, and uh, <clears throat> all right, well, let's get on with it. Oh, today me and my wife went uh, Black Friday shopping, so I picked up a, uh, it's like a GoPro camera from Menards, but it's not really a GoPro, it's a Sharper Image brand, so I'm hoping it's working well, so uh, so I got like a little two camera shoot going on right now, so we got camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, so I don't know, I'm just checking it out, you know, see how, it, see how this camera works. I'll be able to set it up in my truck and stuff like that to get uh, better footage for when I'm out hunting. Alright, so uh, got a, quite a few games here, quite a few retro games. This is all stuff that I've got over like the last two or three weeks, you know, since I made my last video. And um, I guess we'll start it here. I, one day after work, I uh, I was working on at uh, kind of like on the south side at uh, this school called Uno School. If you're from Chicago, you might be familiar with it. So when I got off work, I decided to hit up a couple spots and I found like a playing trade and I found a uh, thrift store that I had heard about that I, but I had never been, a thrift store called Unique. I think it's a chain in the area, but this is the first one I had ever found. So a uh, Unique thrift store. So I went in there, I didn't really find anything and I really didn't find anything at that playing trade neither. But, um, so, but when I was on my way home, I just happened upon a store called the Village Discount. And I went in and checked it out, and they didn't have much, but I got a couple things at least. It, the day wasn't a bust. I picked up uh, Project Gotham Racing on the Xbox, and um, Spider-Man, the Platinum Hits Edition. And I think I paid like $1.50 each for those. But uh, one thing that I got that I was really excited about, I picked up, um, it, what got me actually thinking about was... Is v, do you guys think that VHS is going to be like a collected thing in the future? Like, um, you know, like guys like me now want to go back and play them old 8-bit games. You know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, am I going to go, you know what, I kind of miss that gritty, you know, uh, low-quality feeling from VHS. So when I saw this, it, uh, I found Star Wars, original Star Wars. And this, uh, this is like the original uh, VHS copy. And I got it for like 50 cents, so I went ahead and picked that up. You know what? Yeah, it's Star Wars. I was going to say, I never actually checked the tape to see if that was what was in there. So 50 cents, I don't know, who knows, 10 years from now, this could be a coveted collector's item. Who knows? Alright, so, I don't know, then just throughout the week, I picked up stuff. It seems like anytime I had the camera rolling, I didn't find anything, but, so I didn't really get a whole lot of footage in the wild this week but anyways I still found some pretty good stuff I got a uh, twisted metal four I'm trying to get them all I think I've got uh, two and three and uh, the one for uh, PS2 uh, um, I picked up uh, Gradius 3 this is a really cool game it's a side-scrolling uh, space shooter really fun button masher uh, great game and the box is in really nice condition really happy with that and it's all there so and this game I think it was my second or third episode um, I, I ran across this game I didn't know anything you know I, I wasn't as well knowledge as I am now about you know what are rare games what games are worth what what are coveted games so I passed this game up and it, it's kind of it's kind of fucked with me ever since, you know, like, I didn't grab it and I probably could have got it for five or ten bucks, but I picked this up at a, at a play and trade, I got Sunset Riders for the Sega Genesis, it's another side-scrolling shooter, really fun game, great game, um, the Sega Genesis version isn't as coveted as the Super Nintendo version, but, you know, it's the same game and it's a lot of fun, so, if you guys see it out there in the wild, pick it up, don't make that same mistake I did. Um, let's see here. I now I just got I got a bunch of uh, NES games. I got a uh, original Popeye, 
I got it for six bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, Captain America and the Avengers. Looks like I paid uh, ten bucks for it. Mickey Safari in Letterland. And it looks like somebody wrote on it, which is funny because they wrote CP, and that's my initials. So, but I didn't do it. I swear. I got Rampart for six bucks. Metroid looks like I paid twelve ninety nine for it. And uh, here's a really good one. I picked up Mario RPG for Super Nintendo. So I paid. I paid for it. I paid thirty-five bucks for it. But you know, it's a great game to have in the collection. And uh, looks like last but not least here, I picked up uh, Super Mario Brothers Two, uh, complete in box, and the box is in excellent condition. There's like really no corner dings or nothing. It's, none's ever been flattened. The only thing wrong with it is a little color break right there at the top. But other than that, it's in really nice shape. So happy to have it all right so I almost forgot I got one more thing to show you and then I am gonna draw a winner from my contest from the last video the 300 subscriber contest all right so let me show you this real quick um, I was at play and trade and uh, they had two of these actually and one they had priced for 80 bucks and one they had priced for 60 bucks and it is the Completing box Nintendo 64, the Atomic Purple, uh, the Atomic Purple controller version. I got this one for 60 bucks because it does not have the Atomic Purple controller, but I, uh, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to find one. I might already have one out there and out in the garage in a box somewhere. I just have to look. So I went ahead and paid the 60 dollars for the cheaper one, and the box was in nicer condition on this one. So. Um, Clean box Nintendo 64. I just need the Atomic Purple controller. So, pretty happy about that. Alright, so now let's get down to the contest. Um, if you guys don't remember, it's been a couple weeks since I made the video. Um, I, I had a hundred or 300 subscriber contest, and all you had to do was uh, comment. Leave me a comment, like, uh, stating your name and stuff that's something you're into, your favorite movie, whatever. And I actually got a lot of really good, really good comments. I mean, the contest went off really well. I was really pleased with the turnout. Um, you know, I learned a lot about the, the, the subscribers, the people that watch the program, and uh, I was really happy with it. Um, I think after I announce the winner, I'll read off some of the comments that uh, that I received. So... Oh, and here are the prizes. We got uh, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, or uh, a factory sealed copy of Twisted Metal Black. And uh, so whoever whoever's name I draw, it's your choice. You get to pick which uh, game you would like to receive. So if I draw your name, you just have to send me a private message with your address, and I'll ship it out to you. So um, let's do it. Alright, so I took all the names and I painstakingly wrote them all out, cut them up into little bits, and uh, put them in this hat. So let me give them a good shake up here. Who's it going to be? All right, I got one. Who's it gonna be? The Retro Zone. The Retro Zone. All right, congratulations to the Retro Zone. Just uh, send me your information and uh, I'll tell me what game you'd like and I'll ship it out to you. All right, so this was the comment that uh, the Retro Zone left me. It says. My name is Rob, I build model cars, and I just got into collecting retro games. I grew up in the hood, and well, my house was broken into twice as a kid, and my systems and games were stolen. This was back in 94, 95, so all this was high ticket stuff. 
now I'm on track to regain my childhood collection. Hey, so, you know, I'm glad you won. Retro Zone, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, you had a, an unfortunate incident happen to you as a kid, and now you'll get, uh, you get your pick of what game you'd like. So, just send me a message, and it's all yours. I'm going to go ahead and read off a couple more of these. Um, Russ Lehman, he's a guy who, you know, he he's really active on the channel. He watches all the videos. He comments often. And he says, Hi, my name is Russ. I drive a custom Scion XA that has a Super Mario Brothers theme. My fiance drives a Princess Peach Scion that I also made custom for her. I work at a movie theater, stop and shop, and a retro video game store. I love game hunting and music. I, I used to play guitar and sing in a band called Saturday Matinee. So, I don't know, it sounds pretty cool. I have to see that car. Wonder, you got any pictures online of that car? I'm gonna, I am want to check that out. Alright, I'll read one more. Here's what, here's the message from uh, Gary Voigt. He's also an, another guy who is really active on the channel. Um, his name, he writes, my three, my three favorite movies are The Goonies, Die Hard, and Home Alone. And favorite band is Nine Inch Nails, which are which are all uh, great movies. And Nine Inch Nails is a great band, so he's got good taste. He's got good taste, Gary Vaught or Voight. Um, except for I wrote back to him. I said, "Oh, those are great movies, but I don't know about Home Alone. I would put Back to the Future instead of Home Alone." So, all right. So I want to thank everybody for uh, participating in the contest. I think it went really well, and I'll definitely do it again in the future. Okay, now i got one more question to answer. This one is from Pedro... <clears throat> this one is from Pedro Castellano. He writes, I only want to know who is the wrestler mask in the first video. And um, a few people have asked me that. I think Pedro has asked me that question a few times. And um, here, I'll just show you. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't know who it is, Pedro. It's just a, it's a mask. I was on vacation in, Me I was, me and my wife went on vacation to Mexico, and they had all these masks for sale. And I thought it would be hilarious if I, um, put on my suit because we were going to a, uh, like a dress-up dinner. So I thought it would be hilarious if I put this mask on with my suit to take pictures. So I bought it. Um, I don't know who the mask is, like what wrestler actually wears this mask. I just thought it was funny, so I bought it. Um, maybe you could tell me who it is, Pedro, because really I have no idea. Alright, well that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I'm the Flea Market Junkie and I'm... I'll catch you on the flip side.